What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to make all your dreams come true with just a feather and parchment paper. Jolly double, jolly double. But moving on with the Eagle Moss Ghostbusters Ecto 1 kit. We're still on issue 22. This is the uh, fourth and final assembly of issue 22. So here we have the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it, cause as always, ain't nothing to it, but to do it. So, get this out of the bag, get out of my life bag, and open it up, open it up, open it, open it, open it up, easy now, open it up, hey, alright, so here we have our parts. I'll take out the uh, skitties, take out the skitties, and these are some springs and other deals that we're going to be working with, and already, okay, okay, so now let's open up our instituciones, ay, que instituciones, ay, 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 all right, so here we are, we are on stage 82, and we are doing what? What are we doing? We are doing the left front door glass and locking mechanism. Cool! cool. Alrighty. So what are we doing here? So we are bringing in our door. So you know what? As always, I will bring in my, uh, my towel of protection. And we will bring in our door. Our lovely, lovely door. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So what are we doing here? I don't know. Why am I talking in this voice? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Looks like we're bringing in this piece right here. This black piece. And this is just sitting right up here. Like so. Just like that. And this is getting to SM screws. Oh, we got some SM screws. I don't know if this is the first time I'm using SM screws. We've gone through almost the entire alphabet at this point. These screws. I don't know. One, two. So, let's just get this party started. Will the screwdriver work? Ah, the screwdriver's a little too big. Let me try this one. That one. Yeah, this one gives us a better, a more positive grab. So, um, if, if you watch both build videos, this and the Enterprise, um, you're going to hear me talk about this twice, but I did make an investment here in this build. I did invest in some, uh, some of this stuff, this three in one oil. This is what, uh, Wayne uses. So I figured, you know what? I'll give it a try. Let's see if it makes life a little easier. I mean, granted, I haven't had any real issue getting the metal screws in, but I figured why not? We'll give it a whirl. And I already tried it out with the Enterprise build, and you know what? It actually, it, it seems to work pretty well. You can see I just have a little, little jar of it here for easy dipping. But, uh, you know, yeah, just dip in a little bit of oil. <laughs> I have to say it the way he says it. Dip in a little bit of oil. But, yeah, it seems like it does make these screws go in a bit smoother so hey you know i think i've been i think i've been converted converted to the ways of the oil there's one oops i didn't do the thing we have to do the thing hold up i'll do the thing <laughs> i already tightened that up which i shouldn't have done but it's okay it's okay there we go we'll do it now get it started and now whiskey okay there we go uh, all right, let's sign this up. But yeah, it does seem to make the screws go in a bit smoother. So hey, I, you know what? I am seeing it now. I am seeing the merits of the oil. I think I have been converted. It only took, you know, like over a year of building this and the Enterprise to finally be converted. But you know what? I'm converted. Better late than never. I approve of the oil. So yeah, I just got this off Amazon. Just three in one, three in one oil. That's what it looks like. There you go. In case anybody else wants to use it for their build, 
But alrighty. Now what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Move this back here. Alrighty, so we are now installing the side panels, which would be these two pieces here. So it looks like this longer one goes on this side and the shorter one goes here. Yes, okay. So we'll do the shorter side first, since it's telling us to do the shorter side first. So this is just lining up where? Right here, it seems like. Boop right there okay and this is getting some dm screws oh i got some dm screws so the other side is also using dm screws so we just need four in total so i will just dump out four in total one two three and four there we go i believe i can use my old trusty screwdriver for this one yes i can and we'll do a little dippity dip a little dippity dip in the oil uh, there we go. And the other one. Yo, dippity dip. Dippity dip. Dippity 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 dip. What do we do, dippity dip? Oh, man. Alrighty. So how's everybody doing? How is everybody feeling? Hope everyone is doing well. Everyone's staying safe. Me, just working on my ecto door. That's all I'm doing. Working on the ecto door. We spent a lot of time just on this door alone. This has been what three this three stages now just on this door, and we're still not done with the door. We still got more door to do because this door is not finished yet. It's not completed. We still have other things to put in this. We got mechanisms to put in, and all that good stuff. Get this. Ooh, there we go. Get that as snug as we can get it. All right, so we got that side in, and now we're doing the other side. Break on through to the other side. Where are we going here? Where are we sitting? There we go. We're sitting there like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There are my screws. <laughs> They're trying to run away from me. Don't you run away from me, skitties. Don't you run away from me, skitties. You know there are penalties. There are penalties for trying to run away from me, skitties. You know what the penalty is? You get screwed! That's the penalty. Anyway, okay. Let's get it started. Do a little dippity dip. A little dippity dip. There we go. I have a feeling this one bottle of oil will last me like 75 years because it's not, it seems like a little goes a long way. Because <laughs> I got an eight ounce bottle. This is, this is all I'm using of that eight ounce bottle. And I have a feeling that's going to last me forever. So yeah, it seems like a little is going to go a long way as far as this oil goes. Because I mean, you're only using like, like a drop really. Like half a drop for a screw. All right. Ooh, the snugness. Ooh, the snugness. Alrighty. So we have done that. So there we go. Our door has some walls. Sure, sure. All right, moving on to the next page. What are we doing here? What we are doing here is we are now bringing in... Where are all these pieces? Where are all these pieces they are showing me? Okay, we're bringing in this piece right here. It has an odor to it too, this oil. I could smell it from here. Can you smell it? Can you smell the oil? Can you smell it? It has a very, it's a very oily smell. <laughs> it smells like oil. Go figure. Anyway, so we're taking this and we are putting the spring on it. that we have a spring our spring has sprung and this is going to be going over this like that and then we're taking this piece here and this is going to be inserted like that and compress that spring and then this will get secure oh this is going to be a bit of an ordeal isn't it yes it will be 
We're gonna have to deal with like tension and stuff. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay, so you know what? Let me get a screw prepped and ready to go. We need another DM screw. We need a DM screw for this. So you know what? I'm just gonna get it prepped and ready to go. Get it dipped in the oil. There we go. Okay, it's ready to go. It's good to go. Alrighty. So there's a little port for it in here. So we have to line that up and then push this in. Oh, this is going to be. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. There's a little post here that'll plug in. So hopefully that'll help keep it in place. But. Sitting here pushing against a spring. I mean, the spring is going to want to do what a spring does. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. 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 We're here. We're ready. Okay. And let's get here. And okay. There we go. Ah. 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 Alrighty. There we go. Well, that wasn't such a chore now, was it? <laughs> okay. You know what? That actually worked out pretty well. Okay. Thought that was going to be a bit more of a chore, but it was fine. There we go. Boom. 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 Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say whale. Whale. I'll do it for you. Okay. So we've done that. And next thing we are going to do is we have to apply some little little stickers here. This one almost, this one just didn't want to, they don't like each other. They didn't want to be in the same room. He was just like, you know what? I'm going to be outside the door. You can stay in there. You can have that. I'll stay out here. They just weren't, they weren't agreeing with each other. But it's okay. They'll work together. I'll make them work together. Okay. So what these are, just some little, uh, I guess some little pads here that we're going to put right here on the, on the like windowsill. And um, that's going to prevent the window from getting scratched up. It's going to be kind of like a spacer to keep the window from getting, get out of the bag, to keep the window from getting uh, scratched up when you're rolling it up and down. As you will be able to roll the windows up and down on this, which is so cool. I can't wait to put that mechanism together. For some reason, that's the, that's the thing I'm the most excited about with this build, is the fact that you can actually roll the windows up and down. I don't know why, but that genuinely <laughs> just makes me happy <laughs> that you can do it on this model. And of course, we have little stickers, tiny little stickers here. Oh Lord, how is this gonna work? How is this going to work? I can't even get this backing off. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, give me a second. There we go, we got it, we got it. <laughs> that is some delicate work we're doing here. Okay, so this is going, looks like right on this very top ridge here. So I just put one like roundabouts here, so it looks like it's showing us. Okay, that's one. And again, just give me a second here to get this backing off. Okay, let me get that one. And this one will just go like roundabouts. Yeah. Okay. 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 So there we go. Those are stuck on. Nice and stuck like. And all right. All right. Okay. So we got that done, and it seems like that is all we are doing in this stage of the build. We do actually have the window here, but we're not using the window just yet. That's going to just be put off to the side, so we'll just keep that in a safe place. But um, yeah, that seems to be all we are doing here in this stage. So there you go. We got a little bit more... We got more of a door. We got more of a door going on here. A little bit more. Some more, more of the inner workings of the door, more so than the outer part. But hey, there we go. 
there we go. There we go. We got more door. What this build needs is more door. But there we go. We got that done. We got windshield we're not going to use yet. But there you go. We are done with this stage of the build. And as always, if you would like to sign up for your own Ecto-1 kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you have missed any stage of this build, there is a playlist in the description down below as well for you to check out at your leisure. And you can watch this lovely vehicle take shape before your very eyes. So there you go, and as always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud. Home in your face.